Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, staying alive here in Dubai. I'm going to be headed over to Miami next week. Uh, I'm going to be actually speaking at one of the conferences. No, not the Bitcoin, Bitcoin week conference, unfortunately. I will be speaking at uh, a conference called uh, 21 Million Savage. Uh, this is the conference that I'm going to be speaking at and yeah, it's going to be awesome, right? So make sure you get your tickets. It's pretty cheap and yeah, we'll, we'll take pictures and say hi and so forth. So yeah, I'd like to see you guys out there. I will be also attending the um, Bitcoin 22 or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be attending this conference as well. So uh, yeah, make sure that you, uh, you, you be there. Right, um, and so they can say hi, right? And uh, you know what? Anyone who's under the age of 14 and has a Bitcoin wallet, I will give you $100 if you come up and say hi, take a picture with me, and you show me your Bitcoin wallet, I'll send you $100 of Bitcoin up to, like, let's just say up to 10 people who come up to me first, yes. They have to be under 14, right? To, in order to get that hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. Okay, um, let's start off with the news rant of today, right? Oh man, Grayscale is preparing to for a, for a legal battle with the SEC over a Bitcoin ETF, right? Okay, so these guys they're a little upset that <laughs> the SEC hasn't approved a physical ETF, Bitcoin ETF. I'm like. You living on this planet <laughs> where, you know, dollars are, you know, the, the reserve currency. And if they allow this ETF, physical ETF, uh, you know, hedge funds and people will actually buy that ETF, which causes the price to go up, which shows that the dollar is bad. <laughs> now, clearly you see the problem why the, the, the SEC might not want you to, you know, have an ETF like that. <laughs> now, if if you want some advice, all you have to do is read the gold ETF, right? The, that gold ETF, right? Perspectives, where it says, oh, we're not custody gold. And because of that, if our custodials don't have the gold, that's not our problem. <laughs> uh, and we're not going to pursue anything should that happen. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, so, yeah, if, if you set it up that way, <laughs> then, then you have a chance. <laughs> uh, because, yeah. Because obviously your custodians will not have the, the bitcoins, right? Uh, alrighty. Canadian authorities authorities struggle to seize Freedom Convoy's bitcoin donations. The tr the truckers from the Freedom Convoy raised nearly twenty one bitcoin, but the Canadian government has reportedly only seized less than six. Now. They most likely seized that six at exchanges or custodial companies, not at private wallets. So anything that got to a private wallet was uh, probably not seized. And if it was seized from a private wallet, the person had to have given up his keys. That's the only other way the government could have taken it. Um, if they, the person did not give up his keys, and, and it could have, he could have just been, they could have been raided his house or whatever, locate the location of the person who holds the, the Bitcoins. And if they have their seed phrase in their safe, yes, obviously they're going to uh, be able to access the Bitcoins. Now, there is a key feature about Bitcoin with when it comes to hardware wallets. So if you have a hardware wallet, like the, this one here that I'm going to be reviewing later on, um, if you have a hardware wallet, there's a key thing that you can do. Never store your Bitcoins in the default settings. You could actually add a passphrase, right? So that you go to a separate wallet, 
that nobody knows unless you have, they have the passphrase. So this way, if the government comes and takes your private keys, well, that's okay, right? As long as you have another copy of your, your wallets or some, somewhere far away or somewhere, something like that, make sure you have that or your private key um, somewhere else so that you can uh, protect yourself, right? Now, as long as you have that, right? Of course, right? You can, um, you can now prevent the government from taking your Bitcoin. <laughs> so learn something new every day, right? All right. Uh, Singapore High Court recognizes crypto as property in a judgment. Eh? Yeah, you know what? This could re read as Singapore High Court recognizes water as wet in a judgment. <laughs> Singapore High Court recognized air as necessary in a judgment. <laughs> That's just dumb. It's just dumb, right? That's like saying, I don't know, uh, like what else is virtual? Like saying your, your copy of Windows is not real property, right? Yeah, you can say, well, I was just the license. Yes, but does you have that property that you can actually send to somebody, that license to send to somebody else, which it is your property. Oh, boy. oh my God. <laughs> this was nonsense. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's, let's go on right to, you know, the, the Canadian uh, Bitcoin Purpose ETF now holds over 36K of BTC. Wow. That's a 23% increase in holdings year to date. So, yeah. They're load, people are loading up, loading the boat on Bitcoin, right? Um, I would not prefer it inside of the ETF because eventually that will get corrupted, right? Um, but hey, if it's working now, that's great. I'm happy um, that, uh, you know, they're loading up with Bitcoin. Hopefully they do have the Bitcoin in their custodianship. We don't know for sure that for a fact, but um, if they could provide, you know, if they could provide addresses, that would help. Um, U.S. Senator Kathy Loomis sees Bitcoin mining boosting the U.S. energy industry. Yes, this is true. Um, you see, if you build a power plant, it's really difficult to distribute. The, and you don't build it for all the energy needs of the, of the local area right away. You build it for a foreseen future need, right? And then that means it's going to take a while to recuperate the cost of the power plant. So if you use Bitcoin to use up the energy of that power plant and, you know, make money, well then, now the cost of that power plant is recuperated a lot faster. Just saying. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Russian prime minister seeks crypto integration. Okay, so, you know, as much as you could buy, you could probably hate on Russians because yeah, man, we grew up in an age, well, I did this, where everybody hated Russians, right? Um, and you can hate on them all you want, but you don't have the full story of what's going on at Ukraine. Because every time I talked about what's going on in Ukraine, I'd tell any of my Ukrainian friends, this doesn't make any sense for Putin to do this. There's no financial gain enough, significantly enough for him to, um, to do this with, that offsets all the, uh, the sanctions, basically. So why did he do that? So I'm not going to go into to theories, but you might want to look into that, right? Um, and, and, and make your own decision. But here's the thing, right? Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is about not about trying to, to, oh yeah, I want to make sure money doesn't get in the hands of the wrong person. No, 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 no. You can't have that. You can't have it both ways. Once you have, once you, once you have freedom and free money and money that's not corrupted, right, by central authorities, that means you have to accept that, um, you know, bad actors will use the, the, that money for their um, purposes. Now, I'm not saying Russian 100% bad in this, of course, just 
I don't know what, what I just, I'm telling you that I don't know, right? And uh, I don't have all the picture, the complete picture, but something doesn't smell right. And so that's what I'm, I'm saying. That's all I'm saying there. And I think that, um, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a good person or, or you perceive as a good person or perceive as a bad person. Um, everyone should have access to money uh, and to be able to trade that money as they need um, for survival, right? So, and uh, yeah, uh, you could decide not to trade with them. So, for example, it's better that, hey, if they use Bitcoin and then you say, well, okay, well, I'm not trading with you because of X, Y, Z, that's fine. I support that. I support you in that effort, right? And that's how it should work. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for being part of this news rant. Make sure uh, I see, hopefully I see you guys next week in Miami. Um, I'm also gonna be taking a cruise probably next, uh, the week after that. Um, so I'm gonna mention which cruise it is uh, once I have a book, because I don't have a book yet. So once I do, I will mention which cruise it is and hopefully I'll, maybe I'll see you guys on that cruise. Uh, I really love cruising. I will be doing it alone, unfortunately. But hey, um, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll, we could we could have we could hang out, have some drinks, do some um, some mai tais, and and uh, talk about Bitcoin because that's my favorite subject. All right, see you guys on the other side, and uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Hopefully, cheers.